Hello everyone, how are you? I am finally getting around to sharing with you my planner journal lineup for 2024. Um, it's taken me a little bit to sort of settle on something. Um, so I was, I kept sort of leaving it until the last minute, basically until the end of December before I'd really made my mind up. And even now, the ideas are still evolving, like it's still sort of changing. So, um, let's start with, um, let's start with this one. So, this is a um, Hobonichi Weeks. Um, this is beautiful sticker, Never Too Much Ink, is from Karina Loves to Plan. Um, so I've just got the grey fabric one and I've got a clear cover on it. Um, this sticker here is from the lovely Jane Campbell at Fountain Pens um, and more, I think it is. I'll um, try and put a link to her channel below. So that sticker is from her and I'm really wanting to use this for my YouTube channel and just for planning, setting things out, um, writing when I receive things, um, what's when I do videos and upload them, that sort of thing. Um, there you go, I've got my currently um, inked for January written in there too. And in the back of it, I actually am doing a bit of a ink diary. Well, not ink diary, but like a inventory of inks, I guess. So um, I haven't got around to doing it all yet. But I'm just doing like a bit of a fine line of the inks that I have um, or the inks that I've tested so I can get a bit of a feel for what I already have or what I've already tried. As I said, I haven't gone through and done them all yet but getting there um, and then in the back of this um, I'm also going to put gifts that I have received as well from people and I'm also doing my stationary empties again so how many letter writing sheets I'm using envelopes cards postcards and um, I'm going to keep note of what I'm using again in 2024. So that's how I'm using this one at the moment. Oh, and I've also done a bit of a penventory in here as well. So if I sell anything off, I'll cross it out. And if I get new pens, I'll write it in here as well. So that's what the um, Hobonichi Weeks is going to be used for. Um, and this will be good like too if I do ever make it to some um, what do you call it? like pen meetups and things like that I can this is small enough that I can bring and people can get a bit of a sense of what I've got or what inks how inks look and, and things like that if they want to have a take a closer look so that's that one I don't know if I'm making a lot of sense sorry um, now I can't remember who it was, but someone wanted to know, um, this is the Midori five year diary. Um, I can't remember who it was now, but they want to sort of see how it was set up. So this is how it's set up. Um, you, how I'm using it and I've just got that. Um, I'm kind of just... I've got it for 2024 and I'll just do it each year. I'm using my um, Just Turnings Custom Copper Line. So that's the pen I'm using for the month of January. And then each month I will just pick a pen and ink that I'm using for my five-year Midori Diary. So it just has four lines. I actually write on the bottom line too, so say five lines. And I've just been using it to sort of record the weather and you know a little bit about what I've done for that day or something I would like to note down so that's how I'm using that this is the first time I have ever used um, a Midori five-year diary so and each month it's got like so for the month of January it's like a little key for February it's like a little mitten um, 
For March, it's a butterfly. For April, it's a four-leaf clover. That's what it kind of looks like to me. For May, it's a balloon. For June, it's an umbrella. Um, I don't know if you're seeing that. You know, for July, it's like a sunflower. Um, for August, it's a fish. Uh, let's see what's for September. For um, September, it's a mushroom. And for October, I think it is that like a bunt cake? Like, yeah, like a bunt cake, I think. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Um, for November, it's a, a cup of coffee or tea. And for December, it's uh, a deer. So that's how that is set out. Um, and I'm really looking forward to just seeing how it changes over the years and whether... I'm doing similar things at similar times during the year or whether I'm doing different things. So that's the five-year diary. Um, it is The paper is fountain pen friendly as well, so that's always good, as is the Hobonichi as well. Um, now you've all seen this thing. This is my, um, my book that I use to record my currently inked and ink swatches during the month with you all so that will continue to be used in 2024 it is an endless recorder uh, notebook with the regalia paper so the regalia paper is also fountain pen friendly um, but it has almost like a little bit of a feedback feel to it it's different to the Tomoe River paper but it still shows um, shading sheen and shimmer um, beautifully um, particularly shading um, inks show up very nicely on that so that's the next one I'll be using now this one is um, a traveler's notebook this is the olive edition mine does not look olive mine I feel like mine looks more like a brown to be honest I was a little bit disappointed um, because I want it to, to be more of this green. So this is um, a Galen Leather um, green A5 folio cover that I've had for years, absolute years. And I was kind of hoping it would be more of, have more of a green to it, but it's, it's not. It's like a really, it's like a brown. Mine's not olive at all. Even the inside of it looks brown. So um, anyway it is what it is so in this i've actually got my six month um diary so um i've just i'll be using this more for appointments and things like that um not so much more personal things like birthdays appointments and so on and then this one i'm actually going to use as a commonplace book so commonplace book it's where i'm going to put jot notes down like um maybe you know recipes that friends recommend to me or books that they recommend um little notes of i don't know just whatever random things random things is going to go in this so last year i actually used um the tn inserts mainly for journaling but this year I'm changing that so this year that it's, is just going to be a commonplace book and my diary so these will travel with me in my handbag each day um, so I've got them so yeah so that's that um, and then I I've never had the full size Hobonichi like the the A5 size and I wasn't going to go down the Hobonichi path at all although I've got a Hobonichi wigs but I was just going to leave it as that and just get a plain A5 journal and then I decided um, that I would try the Hobonichi um, and so I got the Hobonichi Taiko Taiko I believe that's how you pronounce it Lao at Kitchen Crafts very kindly um, 
helped me <laughs> um, learn how to pronounce this so thank you Lau um, but yeah so this is what I'm going to use for my everyday journal um, A5 gives me a lot of room to sort of play with um, so this is what this is going to be everyday sort of journaling you've got your monthly set up and then you've got your weeks set up um, and then you've got your daily pages so I've just got in here books that I'm reading uh, movies movies that I've watched and series that I'm watching um, and then this will just be my everyday sort of journal that I, I write with. Now these Dodalu um, dates, wasn't going to get those either, but I saw my friend Beck had them from Beck Writes and they were just too cute not to have. So I've actually gone ahead and stuck them in, I think, until, yeah, the end of March, just to see if that's how I want to use them. So they come in a, sorry, I should show you this. They come in a box like this, um, 2024 washi tape calendar. There's 366 days of illustrations. And where did I put the other one? Oh, I don't know what I've done with it. Anyway, so it comes like this on a washi tape roll. This one starts in July. I must have the other one somewhere else. But anyway, um, you just tear them off. And each day you've got like a little illustration and the date, um, what day it is, like Sunday. Um, so these are really cute. So I'm going to use that in there, I think. And I'm enjoying this. I was going to get one of those Hobonichi, um covers, but I looked at them. The one that I really liked was the one with the birds on it, like the swallows. And it was over, I think it was like $219 Australian to buy it. And I thought, that's such a lot of money. Like really cute, beautiful and all the rest of it. And I did have another leather cover, which is like a traveller's notebook cover, but it's A5 size. And that's what I initially was going to use, but it just didn't fit. It, it, the book was too big for it. So then I saw... That pen friend Ray was actually using his Galen Leather A5 Folio for his Hobonichi. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to use my A5 Leather Folio for that as well. So this is um, this will be my everyday journaling. So that's that. And I've just got um, a sticker book. That sticker release paper book in the front here. To help me decorate it if I like. So, and I've got this beautiful little, this is the, um, I'll show you, this is the Yuseka pen. I don't know which one this is, but my friend Nicole actually gifted me this and surprised me with it. So I've actually got that on my Gallon Leather A5 Folio. So, and it goes really well because it's green and green, you know. So that's that. So we've got the A5 Hobonichi Taiko. We've got the Traveler's Notebook with my diary and commonplace book. We've got the Endless Recorder A5 Notebook with the Regalia paper. We've got the Midori Five Year Diary. And we've got the Hobonichi Weeks that we're using for um, the channel. And then put that to the side. I've got this little guy from last year that I haven't really used. Um, it hasn't got a cover or anything. I've just stuck stickers on it. Haven't really used that much. I was using it as a bit of an ink journal. I used it for my June 2023 20, 30 inks 30 days. Um, and but I didn't use it as much as I thought I was going to use it. I was doing some chromatography strips um, and that sort of thing. I was recording some of my currently inked, but I really wasn't consistent in it. And it's got last year's dates in it, so I can't really use it as a diary this year per se. But it's got really nice paper, so I don't want to waste the paper. See, I've only used it up until 
the 7th of May and I've got all these paper. So, I got these little things. Now, this is... can't remember. I got mine from Bookbinders Design and it has these little peel-off dates that you can peel off. So, I thought what I could do... even though it's not the 8th of January. I thought I could stick these over here and actually use them in this little A6 notebook and use it, continue using it for um, an ink journal of sorts or whatever I want to use it for. So this is the A6 size. Um, so I thought I could do that. So that way I'm still using it um, and not wasting it. So I've got those, those. Uh, yeah, so we've got, I mean, I wanted, I wanted to keep it simple too, but looking at this stack, it's not that simple now. But yeah, so this is kind of a haphazard, want to use it up. That one will be very useful. This one's getting used daily. That one gets used for videos. This one goes in my handbag. And this is my everyday journal. So let me know what you think. What you're, what are you using this year? Um, and I mean, as I say this, like I'm, I'm still not, I don't know. Like I just wanted to keep it simple, but looking at this now, it's not simple. Like, <laughs> Um, anyway, but I've got them, I'm using them all for different things as well. So it lo I would love just to have one journal that I could use for everything, but that's just not how my brain works, unfortunately. So anyway, so this is what I'm, I've got, this is what I've been left with. Um, We'll see how it goes. We'll see if it changes during the course of the year and what happens. But at the moment, this is where we're at. Um, and I guess we'll just wait and see. See how it all pans out. See if it works for me. Um, so thank you very much for watching this very random, rambly video where I'm probably not making a whole lot of sense. It makes sense to me, but it may not. I may not have been able to convey what I meant to you all and I'm sorry for that. I've um, actually had a migraine for the last two days so um, my brain is not performing at 100% unfortunately. I, feel, I still feel a bit fuzzy in the head but I wanted to get this video out there because I figure it's the 14th of January. Um, we've already, you know, two weeks into the new year. And I just want to show you what I'm going to be using and my thoughts behind it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and being kind to yourselves. And I will see you back here next time. Take care. Bye.